always lovely to meet you. I am from New Zealand, but I don't want to talk about it. Uh, <laughs> it's actually kind of personal, so stop asking. Um, I, uh, I've come here tonight dressed as a necktie. Thank you very much. <laughs> I tried, to, I tried to dress up uh, for this tonight, but um, I, I, kinda, I don't know if I nailed it because I think, unfortunately, this outfit sort of teemed with the rest of my aesthetic. It makes me more look like a character in a romantic comedy who is only there to provide exposition to the plot. You know what I mean? <laughs> That's the look, isn't it? It's the look. You know, you know that like one office worker character at the very beginning of the film who would just be like, well, look who just walked in. It's Marcus Samson, heir to the biggest shipping company in the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> a notorious bachelor. He says he's waiting for the right lady to settle down with. Well, good luck to her, whoever she is. Anyway, <laughs> I'm off, and I probably won't see you till the end of the film, possibly in a large group scene where I have no lines. Goodbye. <laughs> Goodbye forever. <laughs> Goodbye. curly hair helps with that look either. I do love having curly hair. I love it. But I have to say, I, I, I heard a leaf in it three days ago and I have yet to locate it. Uh, <laughs> somewhere in there. Um, uh, what else can I tell you about myself? Um, I'm a straight woman by trade. Uh, <laughs> that's me. Uh, <laughs> it is. And it's absolutely devastating, to be honest, uh, because it's the, it's the worst of all of them. Uh, <laughs> if you know what I mean, it's the worst gender sexuality combination I think you can get, right? It's the one that kind of reflects the poorest decision-making skills <laughs> out there, doesn't it? Because what it means to be a straight woman, what that means is that given all of the options in the world, we still went for dudes. What is up? What? What? What are we doing? No. Especially, what kind of, like, how do we defend that choice, especially at a time like this, 2019? Tough year to be a straight woman. Oh, my God. <laughs> tough gig. <laughs> tough gig for the ladies. Turns out, you, boys, you're no good. You're no good. <laughs> but <laughs> congratulations. You, you did nearly get away with it. So close. Uh, <laughs> we, we got you in the end. Uh, <laughs> but I've got, a lot of, uh, I've got a lot of, you know, straight male friends because I am an ally. Uh, <laughs> And, and they say to me, they're like, they're, it's quite hard to defend being like a straight man at a time like this. Do you know what's harder? Being a straight woman, given what we know about you now, okay? <laughs> Do you know what it feels like to, be, to still like dudes in 2019? It's, it almost feels like trying to recommend a restaurant that has given you food poisoning eight times, okay? <laughs> That's what it feels like. <laughs> you t- you tell your friends to go, you're like, no, 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 just go. Just make up your own mind. Okay, they're great, they're great. Not all restaurants, okay? Don't go online, don't go on Yelp, okay? Just make up your own mind, right? But uh, I do, I still love men. I love to kiss them. Uh, I love them. I, uh, I've kissed nine men in my life, um, and they're all here tonight. Come on out, boys. <laughs> no, that'd be, imagine that. That'd be quite cool. It'd be good to see them again. Uh, uh, but I have, and I thought nine men, single digits, single digits for the gal, pretty good. I thought that was an okay number, but it is surprisingly, surprisingly low. Surprisingly is not a word, right? <laughs> it is surprisingly low considering the fact that I've literally never rejected anyone in my life. <laughs> like, I run a very open home policy when it comes to that sort of stuff. I'm like, you know, choose on, choose off, that's fine. You know, leave your name and number if you're interested. Uh, and, <laughs> I think though, I, I love men, and I think my problem though is that I think I'm so, I'm very easily impressed by men, okay? My, my standards are alarmingly low, that's a quote. Uh, <laughs> and that's the problem because I think I'm, I, like if a man can show a moderate level of skill in literally anything, sign me up, honest to God. <laughs> like if a guy, if a man can like fix a flat tire, if a man like, I see like a man like leaf blowing or something like that. If, if a guy can fold a fitted bed sheet. <laughs> Be- bellissimo, you know what I mean? I, I genuinely think that men with their lives together could be quite a popular porn category. I think they could, could go off. We could just email someone about that, right? It's true. And I, I, yeah, I do think that straightness, being, me being straight, is purely a symptom of low self-esteem, uh, <laughs> which is true. And I have low self-esteem. I'm fine with that. I think I've got, like, the, the perfect level of self-confidence as an adult woman, right? And that confidence is, it's very specific, but some of you might know what I'm talking about. I have the confidence to measure a length between the two tips of my index fingers and then travel... With that measurement, <laughs> to the other side of a room, <laughs> and believe that that will be at all accurate at the end, right? <laughs> that is all. 
all the confidence. It's all the confidence you need. I feel like my confidence wildly fluctuates through, throughout the month, right? And I know this. I know this because I've got. I recently just got a period tracking app. Um, uh, I love it. Everyone should get it, even if you don't get a period. It's, blo it's bloody good. <laughs> Use it as a calendar. I don't know. But <laughs> I, I love my period tracking app. But I do have one problem with it, and that is that sometimes when I am updating it, um, I do almost feel like I'm writing some sort of entry into like a wartime journal <laughs> of sorts. You know what I mean? With the language you have to use with it. <laughs> It'll be like day five. <laughs> Still bleeding. <laughs> I miss my wife so much, right? Uh, anyway, thank you very much for having me. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>